What's good? Welcome back. Another installment to my gaming setup. Look, I ended up doing this whole video already, and the audio did not record the entire time, so I had to do this whole thing all over again. But it's for the better. I ended up doing a better version. I just redid it and did it better, so yeah, thank me for messing up. It's a huge step up from my 2013, my first ever setup video. Definitely a huge step up from last year, that temporary quarantine setup that I showed you guys. Once again, thank you guys for all the support. Without all of that, I wouldn't be going this hard. I wouldn't be motivated to keep going and building my setup and adding stuff to it so thank you guys again for all the support all the subscribers all the likes and comments all the noti gang all the views all the watch time it's all going up i appreciate y'all i'm gonna keep going hard this year all 2021 or hopefully by the end of the year y'all gonna see what i've been talking about what i've been working on and it's gonna be looking good so sorry for the delay without further ado let's get into the setup Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Hold on. Bro, you're trash, bro. Keep that Thanos drip. Y'all know. So to start off, we got the Nano Leaf lights, the canvas, touch sensitive, touch reactive. Sorry, right, it focuses weird on the camera. Sorry, y'all. But that's it. Love these. They got screen mirror. I know everybody got the Nano Leaf light, but the canvas, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Screen mirror, you can do so much. It's clean, you can adjust it, make any type of picture and shape that you want. So I like it. Picked these up at Best Buy a while ago, actually. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it in a couple of my videos. Um, it's not in view anymore, but they are a big help. I do like these. I use these every single night before I go to sleep, whatever, it's like kind of like a night light. Got my whiteboard, daily goals. I put stuff on there, stuff I'm working on, stuff I'm working towards. Y'all see the sub count right here. Y'all see what's going on. Big goal 1K. I'm going to do a giveaway at 1K subscribers. So keep subscribing. Keep looking out. And I'll announce that soon. I'm going to also do a Twitter giveaway. So follow me on Twitter and stay tuned for that. This little storage unit type of thing. Got this little cubby thing set up here. It's really organized. Still adds, adds a nice little aesthetic to my room. Y'all see my black and red colors. Y'all know I love these two colors. My two favorite colors. Baby picture here. My first haircut. Man, look at me, man. I don't know what happened over the years, but I was looking nice, man. I was I was a cute little kid, man. I don't know what happened. My head just got too big. I don't know. Put my coins in here. It's a little change. I had this since I was a kid. Man, this is... As you can see, it's empty. I needed that change. Uh, your boy your boy broke from buying this setup. It's like, nah. But here you go. Got my old airsoft mask. I don't use this anymore, actually. It's like a classic, old, cheap rental one. Shout out my pops. This is the actual hat he used in the Marine Corps. Been keeping this safe as possible. I keep it up there on display to think about my pops every single day. He's still alive. Don't worry, guys. I just keep it up there. This is my Sony camera bag. All right, I put my GoPro in there. Put my Sony in there when I'm on the go doing vlogs and stuff. Keeps it nice and safe. It's got a lot of room. Put my batteries, my mic, all of that, my lights, everything I need in there. Two of my airsoft pistols here. 1911. Obviously, I do not flash any real guns in my videos. I would not do that. That is bad. It's bad for YouTube. It's bad for content. I do not condone violence, but I do condone airsoft. And I will tag some people up. Got some old games and stuff in here. A lot of really, really old stuff. Like, look, Xbox, original, PlayStation 2. We're not going to get into that. Got two PlayStation 1s. Look, 
I have every single PlayStation in this house except for the PS3. I, the which is like the golden one, the best one. But I got two PlayStation ones here, antiques. Beautiful. Actually, this should be like that. All right, that should be all my airsoft soft stuff in here. Pistols, uh, mags, holster, gloves, green gas, different stuff inside here for my airsoft. I keep it in there. Nice and organized. Got my dual sense box, a Kai MPK Mini 2 controller for when I'm making beats. Y'all know this one. Been had this for years. Oh reliable. It's the classic one. Everybody got this. Got my vector airsoft again. Scale one to one. Officially licensed. Oh, beautiful. Y'all seen this in the Dark Matter finale video. Enough of that. Let's get into the setup. Let's start with the router here. Boom. Got the Nighthawk R8000. Got my posters, you've seen all these. I kind of condensed everything from before. They're all spread out kind of on this wall and on the other wall. I condensed them all to this area when I changed my setup around. Got this OTF poster, this is the newest one. Shout out Dirkio Smirk. Put these foam pads in here. People think they don't do anything, they're, they're, they're great. You can hear my voice kind of condense when I get to this area. It stops all the stuff from echoing and bouncing off this wall. Keeps everything nice and tight, you hear? Takes away the reverb. Yes sir, keeps my voice nice and punchy so it sounds good when I'm streaming and talking on the mic. DX Racer chair. I love this chair, man. It's like, it's almost full recline. It's leather. You know, if you got a gaming chair like this, you're gonna be unstoppable on the game. And you know, that's, that's, <laughs> bought this gaming chair and my Call of Duty skills increased by a thousand percent. Still a piece of garbage. Buy a gaming chair and your shot will improve by a thousand percent. I promise you. Got my two dual sense controllers. Boom, boom, one and two. Got my spare. I'm letting my cousin borrow my PS5. It's not down here right now, but you know, if I had it, paid that bag for it. Got the Razer Siren X, I showed y'all that last year. I ended up getting a little uh, arm stand right here to keep it in front of me. Added a little foam thing over here to, to stop, you know, the, obviously the sound and the wind of the pu pu pu. I don't need a whole pop filter. Just this, this is where it's good enough for me. I'm not recording them freaking songs or anything. And this is what I use in my videos. This is what you guys hear. Excellent quality. I really recommend this mic, honestly, but if you got the little extra change, I would recommend getting the Wave 3. I honestly want the Elgato Wave 3. Got my Yamaha HS7 speakers, one and two on the stands. Love these, these are worth the money. They are, you get this to bang for your buck. They cost what they cost for a reason. Recommend these if you're a producer or if you just like loud music in general, crisp. Crisp, accurate sound, crisp. This is my newest monitor I just bought, 240 Hertz. You can see, obviously, there is no type of shutter bars or anything on the camera. You can't see any of that crazy stuff going on. This is 240 Hertz. It is faster than what the camera is looking at right now. This one, obviously, is not that fast. It's 144 Hertz, but it's almost lined up with the camera, basically. Just about lined up with the camera, basically, so you can still see a little bit of that you know going on but you cannot at all you can't see it on here it's you know what i mean it's 240 trust me you can see the difference if you get no frame rates got my a40s here my go-to's these are my favorite headsets my favorite brand right now i've been using astros for almost 10 years now this is my second headset in 10 years that i had to buy and this is gonna last me another five, six years probably. TR mix amp, y'all see what it is. Keyboard and mouse. These came with my old uh, pre-build PC. I don't know if I actually showed y'all that on YouTube. I wasn't too proud of that pre-build, but it was a good starting point I got for cheap. And it basically turned into this build. Went from that to this. I swapped out the case, obviously. Swapped out the case, I swapped out the cooler, swapped out the motherboard, swapped the GPU, CPU. At this point, this is an entire different build. And I ended up swapping out cases. I was on this NZXT just like a month ago. Um, but I swapped out the case because I needed a lot more cooling for my 3070 and all the stuff I was trying to do. Honestly, it was a great decision. One of the best cases I ever bought was this uh, Lee and Lee Landcool two, uh, Mesh 2 uh, case PC. It's valued at about 3000 right now. Um, it's a beast, man. Obviously, I can go higher with my GPU. I'm at a 3070. I can go higher eventually, uh, probably by the end of this year. I'm probably going to max out to the highest GPU available. But this is definitely getting the job done. Doing more than enough for me right now. Right now, I didn't even plug up the RGB uh, stuff to these radiator fans for my NZXT. But these are RGB in the front. Yeah, both of these monitors are curved. 27-inch Samsung. I know what y'all gonna say. Stop.
Okay. All right, I'm, I know, but last year, the only good monitor that was available for me at Walmart was this Samsung QLED right here, curved monitor. So after playing on this for so long, I couldn't go back to flat. It just messes just messes with my eyes. It looks weird in the middle, like it bulges out if I'm, look, if I'm looking at a flat monitor. To swap right over and easily adjust, got another curved monitor, 27 inch, same thing, Samsung, just higher hertz. I mean, beautiful image, look at it. like. Uh, I could stare at this all day. I know y'all want to stare at this all day, but we're not going to do that. This is my laptop when I'm on the go, when I need to edit on the go, when I need to go to the studio, work on stuff, when I'm out and I'm not home. This is a beast of a laptop. Trust me, this is my favorite. It's the best laptop I ever bought. Asus, Zephyrus, ROG, something like that. I'll put it in the description below. Don't worry, guys. It's a beast of a machine. I can get all my work done. I honestly used to use this as my main machine before I started my new PC. And this is good. Like this, I really recommend. You can run COD on this at like 60 to 80 FPS. Mandalorian figurine set. I recommend a Mandalorian. If y'all got Disney Plus, watch, watch watch all right don't be weird about it it's star wars and it's dope i'm elgato key light air i'm honestly gonna get another one and put this one on one side put the other one on the other so i can have good good sufficient lighting but right now this is doing enough for me the setup looks nice man I, i'm really proud of this setup i like it got the dual shot 4 haven't used this honestly it's aesthetic and it's uh, it's kind of broken anyway i, I told y'all about that when i got my ps5 but I just keep it there. It just, it just kind of matches with all of this. This gold here, this gauntlet, all of that. Y'all know. Y'all know, man. Look, come on. Still a piece of garbage. Shout out Stan Lee, RIP. This is my Stan Lee memorabilia gold card set. I have to dust this off, man. It's real dusty. I hope y'all don't be sneezing from this. But look at it, my bro, Emerald, best in the lobby. Shout out to him, he got me this for Christmas. I always look at this and I always appreciate having this. Let your friends know you appreciate them if they do good things for you, man. For real, for real. Got this gauntlet mug, little gauntlet keychain, got baby Groot. Oh, shoot. Baby Groot looking stressed, man. <laughs> he looking homeless. Got my Black Panther. R.I.P. Chadwick Bozeman, man. Got my Black Panther uh, bottle opener. Tyrion Lannister pin right here. If y'all haven't seen Game of Thrones and you're old enough, watch it. I recommend one of the best shows I ever watched. This is a magic coin box. You drop coins in here and they disappear. It's kind of a little illusion. If y'all know how it works, comment down below. Got a little G Fuel tub. I haven't drank G Fuel in a while, but I keep it there for my aesthetic. Focus right, Scarlet 2i2 interface to control my speakers. Boom, boom. Honestly, I might go ahead and get a mic that I could plug into this. Cause I mean, I have it, might as well use it. I know people be spending a whole bunch of money on these interfaces for streaming and stuff like that. And I got this right here. I know how to work audio stuff, honestly, from producing and whatnot. Brand new GoPro that I just started using. Airsoft footage coming soon. I got a lot of clips. You guys will really enjoy it, honestly. I know you might not think you're into it, but it's like Call of Duty in real life, and I know y'all gonna be into it. Finally, the desk. The desk itself is the Freddy desk from Ikea. I think it's the Freddy 2 or just the Freddy, one of the two. Just type in F-R-E-D-D-E. -D -D -E. I got this a year ago. It's one of the best desks I ever have. I mean, look how much space I got. Like, so much space. I just used to hate being cramped up. You know, I know people buy these long tables for gaming or whatnot, and I don't, I'm not really a fan of those. They don't really have the aesthetic for me. It looks like I'm at a picnic. I have all of this space for my keyboard, my, my stuff, my equipment, my controllers, like so much space to just put stuff. And I promise you, I'm gonna be honest, my desk is never this clean. All right, I, I cleaned it for the setup video. It's never this clean. <laughs> all right, I do put a couple of little things, some snacks and stuff, water bottles and whatnot keep stuff here it's got cup holders one the other cup holder has some like uh sharp objects in there so i kind of took it out it also has these hooks up here for headsets you can just hang a headset up here headset mounts there's four of them they are good for people who do have that organization mindset i always hang my headset here and honestly when i don't most of the time it ends up like on the floor or right here or on the chair hanging somewhere i'm really bad at putting my headset in a safe spot i've always been like that i don't know why once i take it off i just ah, ah. my headset be all over the place hazardous i end up sitting on it stepping on it breaking headsets and the last two things i got this boom green screen elgato green screen it pops out it comes up i'm not gonna pick it out right now because i gotta pull like the feet out 
and have it uh, stable. Um, but this is what I used for some of my videos. You know, you know, if you don't, you don't. But I'm gonna use this for a lot more videos. Definitely clutch, one of the best investments ever. Like just to play with green screen and move it around. It's so portable. It comes up, comes down. It doesn't take up space. People don't even know it's there and my LED light strip back here. I honestly want to get more LED light strips and stuff like that. I want to get like the whole Philips Hue setup and all that. I know a lot of streamers and, and people be using those. And I mean, they're dope, the Philips Hue stuff. I want to get my actual room lights, Philips Hue, get some light bars and all that stuff. I want to go crazy, man. I know my setup's not all RGB'd out like everybody else, but it's a very good, and a very high quality setup and lastly y'all know my camera i showed y'all that last year i made a video about it it's the sony a6100 i got a small rig on it a cage around it to fit all types of accessories lights and whatnot got my mic on here boom 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 got my sony shotgun mic on here got the lens 16 to 50 millimeter lens on here it's got nice crisp crisp zoom i love this freaking camera i use this actually for my videos as my webcam connect it to this capture card down here this aver media it does 4k pass through 120 fps very good capture card if you're recording like ps5 at 120 or if you recording your camera either way it comes out so crisp high quality frame rate I was using an Elgato HD60S, but it kind of had a little delay and it just, I stopped using it. I had this. That's about it, man. I'm gonna let y'all see one last look. I hope y'all did enjoy this setup video. I, I try to do a little more than I usually do on this video. I'm really proud of this setup. Honestly, I can go harder. I can, you know, keep upgrading, keep adding stuff, keep making it cooler and enjoying the space that I work in. You always have to have a nice, wide, spacious, comfortable workstation. Um, that you like to look at, that you like being in, that makes you feel and look professional. That's that's a one big thing that people don't think about. The space that you work in, you have to like being there, all right? You can't just have a cramped, annoying setup. you knocking stuff over. You gotta move stuff out the way, clean up every single time. You know, check your background and, and you clean your room and stuff. That's gonna stop your workflow from you just getting in, locking in, and getting those videos out or streaming and stuff if you gotta do all of this stuff clean and move stuff out the background while you're working you don't want to do all of that and you don't want to be uncomfortable and cramped and in, in your workspace and you don't want a space that looks ugly and i recommend just working on your workspace keep upgrading if you see something that you don't need but you really think it's cool you like it if you have the money or you know you're gonna get the money back and you just feel like once you buy that you're gonna be grateful and have no regrets buying it just buy it add it to your setup make it look how you like it you're gonna be looking at this all day for hours and hours all week like you're gonna be in your setup all the time so if you don't think it's you know if it's not appealing to you right you don't have to worry about what anybody says or what they think is a smart investment if it's not appealing to you you're not gonna want to work there you're, it's gonna hinder your creativity all right every time i come in here and make videos and work and make you know uh play the game and record i feel comfortable i feel happy with my setup i don't have to worry about my room being clean i have this wall back here and these panels the aesthetic is nice i like looking at it from across the room from my bed i'm not gonna show you that it's dirty dirty yo, my room's a little junk but i like looking at it and every time i see it i'm like dang let me get in here and make a video and that's what it'll do if you just keep like adding to your setup and making it look nice if you thought about buying it and you really do you do need it all right it might not be like a piece of hardware that's gonna you know that you're gonna use as far as a really 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 crucial piece of equipment but if it's something that you're really thinking about oh i want to add this man oh, i wish i had the money whatever save up just save up keep grinding and buy it add it to your setup because at the end of the day you're gonna be happy that you bought that you're not gonna regret it you know you might be like dang i wish i had that money back i need it for this but once you spend the money i tell people this once you spend money on something it's done stop thinking about it you've already spent the money you've made that decision it's over with you could return it of course but then you're gonna be like oh I, you know i wish i had it or i used to have that dang you got this man i used to have this but i don't think about it just go harder spent the money you need the money go harder again get the money back that's it make your workspace enjoyable hope y'all enjoyed it if y'all do like my setup drop a like
Y'all know that. Subscribe for more Call of Duty content, more gaming content, IRL vlogs, airsoft, Warzone, Call of Duty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Turn on that bell for post notifications so you know when my next video pops up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Be easy.